Greetings, everybody, and welcome. I am the Duck of Indeed, and today we're going to be doing a little tour of my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's going to be both an island tour and a house tour. Obviously, um, the, the town's not perfect quite yet. It's never going to be perfect because I'm always making changes, but this is the five-star island of Quackville. This is what we've done with it. I've done quite a lot of work on it. We have played about 300 hours at this point, and, uh... Real quick, I want to show you guys what the map used to look like in comparison to what it looks like now. So you can see I've made a lot of changes. This is Charlotte. You may remember her. If you've been watching our Animal Crossing videos, there haven't been a lot of them, then you remember. Okay, so what I did is I, this is kind of a Disneyland inspired island with like my own changes. My favorite part of Disneyland is the left side with New Orleans Square, Adventureland, things like that. And then the right side of the island is going to be more the residential area and a zen garden. So let's start off. In place of the Mickey Mouse flowers, we've got... Yeah, we've got the Duck of Indeed in flowers. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's kind of there. It's wearing a pink bow on the upper right and it has rosy cheeks. Literally pink rosy cheeks. We've got oranges here because Disneyland was built on the site of a former orange grove. Okay, so this is Main Street, USA. Got some comfortable benches. The This is being used as basically the train station. Resident services can't be moved, but it's basically like a train station. We've got some flower carts. This is in place of, like, the Emporium. This is where we have our stores. There's Spike. What's up, Spike? Yeah, so this is, uh, this is basically a very small Main Street, USA. And uh, this is probably where, like, the Walt Disney and Mickey statue would have been, but I don't... I, like, don't have any statues that could be used in place of that. The Disneyland castle's been painted to be, like, a bright pink. They've repainted it fairly recently. It's this bright pink with a bright blue roof. So that is my house to be in place of Sleeping Beauty Castle. This is here just because. And, um, to the right of Sleeping Beauty Castle... There is this, like, uh, Snow White waterfall. I originally did this thing where th I had this waterfall with um, a bunch of garden gnomes in place of dwarves, but it didn't quite work. Oh, there's, there's ducks everywhere. You, I'll have to point out the hidden ducks. There's 12 hidden ducks. Well, some are not so hidden. But this is kind of in place of the Snow White waterfall. We even have a wishing well over here. So, oh, there's Sky. Sky is weird. She's one of my favorite characters, but she's really weird. She constantly goes places and starts singing. But we're going to start with the left side of the island. We're going to cross the bridge over into Frontierland. There's really not much here yet. Oh, there's... I was trying to get all the fossils before I started. That's probably the one I'm missing. But yeah, they don't have a lot in terms of cactus and stuff right now. There used to be bigger cactus, but this is what we've got right now. This is what we have so far for Frontierland. And here, okay, we're real quick, real quick, I gotta get dressed up for this. Okay, so, she's gotta dress up for Adventureland. Gotta have lots of bamboo. Right here is a fairly new restaurant. This is based off the Tropical Hideaway. It's a really cool restaurant, though. It's outdoors, and there's tiki torches. So it kind of has, like, two entrances, just guys. And of course, I can't forget to show you guys Adventureland at night with all those nifty tiki torches. Let's go around this way. Oh, there's more things I didn't dig up. So this is the Jungle Cruise. The Jungle Cruise, as you can see, is two little islands right down in the uh, bottom left. We've got some animals. We've got flamingos, ducks. We've got some snapping turtles. Get over there, Charlotte. Oh yeah, you guys also would notice that we're in April right now. The reason I did April is because I wanted uh, cherry blossoms. This is actually a not easy... This town is not easy to navigate. We also got some tigers. Those are paper tigers for the Jungle Cruise. And here, you can't, you can't have the Jungle Cruise without the backside of water, of course. I, you can't see the backside of water. Just, just know that it's there. This is the, uh, this is the less famous front side of water, of course. Of course. I got some stumps around, because I still want to get those stump bugs. 
We've got these signs. These are signs to adventure, darn it. And uh, this has nothing to do with anything, but I just recently did the uh, wedding event. And I like the furniture so much, I just decided to have this, like, wedding area. It's actually slightly fitting because it's next to the uh, Haunted Mansion. You'll be seeing that pretty soon. It's next to the Haunted Mansion, which is the museum. And, uh, you know, the Haunted Mansion has an axe-wielding bride, so... I don't know, it's, uh... It's... it's slightly fitting if Charlotte feels like cosplaying is Constance Hatchaway. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so up here is New Orleans Square. What- what is it, Sky? I can't talk right now. I'm kind of busy. Oh, thank you. I don't need the Bunny Day stuff. Anyway, as I was- as I was saying earlier, Sky is really odd. She constantly is singing everywhere. She goes in people's front yards and starts singing. She goes right up next to people and starts singing. And, uh, she just- she's always singing. She sings more than anybody else. This is the Haunted Mansion. So we, we have an outfit for that, too. Got my Haunted Mansion maid outfit. I have an interesting little story, kind of. This is a, like a serving tray kind of thing. I kind of thought it looked like a hearse, and I put a white dollar horse in front of it to kind of look like the white hearse with the invisible horse. And uh, for a while, when I was constructing this whole thing, every single morning, an animal would walk over as if in a trance, and they would come over and they would spritz the rose with a with a water bottle and then leave. It was weird. They kept doing that. I don't know if they still do it. I don't know if the I don't know if it's finally ended, but for a while that's what they were doing. So behind the haunted mansion, we've got a graveyard. Very spoopy. We got some statues, got some black and white roses because it looks cool and so I don't have to climb up there looking for fossils and stuff. I thought this I thought this outfit was fitting. We got some graves. Got some- I got some cool fence up here. I made it like- I made it- I dug out the graveyard because I thought it would be cooler to have like these tall uh, fences and got these candles. I'll just show you guys this stuff at night. And you can go out in this- this cool area. And of course we've got the haunted mansion at night. Check out the graveyard real quick. Nighttime is a cool time to be running around. Got my candles. Okay, I don't have an outfit for this next area. I'm just gonna stay as a haunted mansion maid. But over here, this is Tom Sawyer Island, which is where we have the campsite. Yeah, this is where our campers be. I got another turtle. Got my very helpful sign. And I got that. I got that bug thing from the uh, bug off. I got piles of leaves everywhere too. Got some cherry trees. I got a... Oh, is that- there's weeds back there. But yeah, this is Tom Sawyer Island. I- I have this little upper area. It's very crowded. But it's- it's wild back here. It's wild. Okay, Charlotte, get around there. I got another duck. There are 12 ducks. Can you find them all? I may forget to point out some. Hey, Lyman. Where- okay, he's behind the tree. Hi! Okay. Up to my house. Right back here. So this is my waterfall. You have to cross. I'm not going to show you the Zen Garden yet. It's over to the right. You can't see it yet. This is... This is my wall of pride. This is where I've been collecting. I have a zillion golden roses and the empty spaces are going to be those Lily of the Valley flowers. They look nice. Here's, there's ducks everywhere. I gotta have ducks near my house, of course. Of course I do. The other reason I'm back in April is because I wanted to get more cherry blossom recipes. I'll show you guys my house later. Got these nice flowers. It's very nice. Okay, so let's head this way. I'm gonna head this way and we're gonna check out the residential area. Hi, Spike. Spike's still been reading. He's been reading for a long time. This is Lyman's house. So this is the residential area. It's on three tiers. Lyman's house turned out the nicest. He has this nice yard back here. I like- I like this yard back here. I- I- did stuff with everybody's yard. There's nothing to really to see on the beach, but uh, this is- oh, here's Mary. This is Mary's house. She's got some pink flowers. They have the nicest houses on the beach. They have the biggest yards. But everyone- I, wa I wanted to make sure everyone had something nice going on. This is Anka's house. She's got these nice, uh, 
nice chairs. Right like the very first day, she got these gold roses because she's fancy. Right like the very first day when this was finally set up, Anka and Lyman were sitting in these chairs. Looked like they were chatting. Oh yeah, this area, this is one of the areas that goes out to the ocean and I didn't know what to do with it. So there's a duck. And I finally got a sand castle. So that's pretty cool. There's really nothing- Oh, I gotta talk to Sahara later. So there's really nothing to see on the beach. There's just a uh, lighthouse over there. But uh, here we have- This is- So this area, they have the smallest yards, but they also have waterfalls in the front and back, so they still got some nice stuff. This is Agnes's house. This is Dom. This is Zucker. And this is Spike. Oh, there's Zucker right now. Okay, so let's go, Charlotte. Oh, I completely even- I forgot to mention some more things on Main Street. Main Street, there's these red and white tulips. There's this one building on Main Street. They have these red and white light bulbs. And there was a mistake where the light bulbs didn't continue the pattern in this one corner. So what they did is they painted one light bulb half red and half white so that the pattern could continue. This is Sky's house. This is Nan's house. Got a garden gnome still. He looks like he wants to shake your hand. This is Bon Bon's house. She's got lots of pink. Oh! Just a minute, you guys. I have to get this balloon. I just can't. I can't ignore that. Where did it? Oh, it disappeared. Oh. Oh, well. Okay. Okie dokie. We're heading- oh! Yeah, yeah, there's a nice view. There's a waterfall. It's like a double waterfall. There's two more ducks. There's a girl duck and a boy duck. Isn't that nice? I have a secret over here. You guys will see it. Oh yeah, there's pink brick in front of my house that was like a custom design too. More of those custom rocks. Got lots of bamboo. Very nice. This is kind of inspired by Kamiki Village in Okami. There's kind of like a lot of water with little islands and stuff. It's slightly inspired, but not much. This is our secret beach. Very nice. We added one palm tree. It looks a lot nicer with the palm tree. And there's a little picnic and tea area here. Isn't that nice? The Zen Garden is completely walled off. It's kind of cool. It's like it's a Zen fortress. It's a fortress of relaxation. You got a picnic here. Got. One of those. Yeah. Okay, so we've got... I don't know if you guys saw it. For, okay, there's a there's a pagoda over there. And it's kind of hard to reach. I kind of have to have like a secret way of getting over to it. Because it's kind of difficult. I'll get it. Okay, so you gotta go over here first. If you can. If you're lucky enough, you can get over there first. My town isn't super navigable. Okay. And then you jump over. This is my pagoda. It looks super cool. Got that from Gulliver. Isn't that nice, Charlotte? But yeah, this is all walled up. There's there's just a lighthouse over there. It's, it's an ugly lighthouse. I got a yellow lighthouse. I don't want... I don't want a yellow lighthouse. And let's not forget the Zen Garden at night. Got a nice half moon out there. Very nice. Glowing things. Things that glow are nice. Alrighty. So it's time to show you guys my house tour. Got my kimono still on, which is fitting because this is my Asian living room. This is this is the uh, formal living room. You guys may have seen a lot of this. This room hasn't changed too much, but I have this gold wall now. Hat Monster, one of our administrators, gave me that cool fox mask. But yeah, it hasn't changed too much, but it's a little fancier than it was. I've got those cool lights. This gold screen was super expensive. It's very cool. I wish- I, I really want a red version of, version of that shelf. But all I got was blue so far. And real quick, this room- this room's terrible. This room is the only room that I don't know what to do with. I'll just show you guys for fun. But uh, this is like the guest bedroom. It's the fun room. It's it's terrible. I don't know. I got those posters. And I don't know. I put I put KK records all over. I got this chess set. Which was really expensive for some reason. I got the Switch. 
course. But yeah, it's just it's just her uh just her bright and colorful guest room. Let's show you guys the other rooms. Let's start with the less formal living room. So this is my nautically themed more formal living room. I have that wedding furniture everywhere. It looks nice. I finally got a fireplace. I have three fireplaces in this house. I think. Yeah. One on each floor. Got that shell wreath. I got a yeah, I got a brown version of that furniture. That is just it's just too nice not to have. She's got a lot of books here. Oh yeah, I, I finally that's that's like the house people pendant. I actually finally got the golden trophy with them. I got a lot of points. This I never even had to make this table. Klaus moved out and he left that in recycling. So I just got that gold table, that gold crab table for free. I got the Animal Crossing Switch. Got surfing KK. Got my big TV. Oh, I, I like those fish. Those yellow fish I got recently. Those are pretty cool. This is a pretty nice room. I wasn't sure for a while. Oh, real quick. This is an easy way to look around better. Right there, there's, um... It's really... Okay, you can't see it now. There's this fish thing. It's got, like, shells and dolphins and jellyfish. That thing's real cool. I like that thing. Yeah. I have light switches. I take things too seriously. I got a phone. It's very nice. All right. Let's show you guys the kitchen now. I'm actually pretty happy with how the kitchen turned out. This is a fruit-themed diner. She's got her cafe clothes. I actually really wanted this cafe wallpaper, this cafe window thing from Sahara. But the wallpaper I have has kind of grown on me. So yeah, we've got this diner, uh, we've got this diner clock. We got, like, we got all this fruit-themed stuff around. But yeah, I got all this diner stuff. A lot of stuff doesn't match, but that's part of what makes it nice. I recently got that ice cream light back there. She's got a microwave and a fridge. She's got her oven and her sink. She pretty much has everything she needs. Pretty much. Still got her birthday cake right there. Just, would you just turn it off? But yeah, I have I have all kinds of stuff in here. This area is real crowded, but it's kind of cool. I got a phone. Like I said, I take things too serious. I got my jukebox and my candy thingy. Oh, and this is, this is cool. I got this from Red. It's this thing. It's this, like, spooky pinball machine, which is cool. It's got, like, a spooky house on it. It's got ghosts, and it just... It's a real... I wish it was I wish it was darker in here, because it glows in the dark. It's real cool. Hello, Charlotte. Okay, I'm going to show you guys... I'm going to save the most interesting room for last. First, we're going to show Charlotte's bedroom. All right, this is Charlotte's bedroom. I really like the antique furniture. So, I wanted to have a real classy room, except um I had this I had this pop-eyed goldfish named Peepers. That's why the goldfish models up there even though it doesn't quite fit. She was actually a pop-eyed goldfish, not a regular goldfish. She was that color. She just had uh she just had bigger eyes, but I haven't caught enough pop-eyed goldfish to make a model yet. Got a piano here and a violin. I normally would want to display the grand piano. But uh, I have an upright piano of my own, so it's kind of fun to have one like that. I got a typewriter and a desk here. I got Charlotte dressed up for every room. Phonograph's pretty cool. I got this nutcracker. From Gulliver. Got this doll. Got some good stuff. Got all kinds of good stuff. Alrighty, so I have one more room to show you guys. It's a pretty interesting room. It's not all of these are a work in progress because you're always getting new items and figuring out ways to make the house better. You, I'll show you guys what I have so far in the basement. I have something special down in the basement. All right, so in the basement again, I like the wedding furniture so much. I thought it would be kind of fun. This is the tightrope girl outfit from the haunted mansion. I got that. That was another custom outfit. Did not design these myself. Can't take credit for it. But what I thought would be kind of cool would be to try to recreate the Haunted Mansion ballroom in my basement. So we've got the rocking chair by the fireplace that the old lady sits in. And just, uh, we got, yeah, we got the fireplace. We got a lot of spider webs. 
We got the birthday cake. And, uh, oh yeah, we got the organ. Eventually, I really want, I, I don't know what to do in place of the uh, two dueling portraits, but we've got that so far. Eventually, I want, like, fancier couches to go back here and chairs and stuff. I think, like, Rococo kind of furniture would be great, but they don't have that in this game, so I don't know what I'm going to do. But we got the organ. We got a real cool looking organ. I always have this room dark. But yeah, like, there's a lot of spider webs in here. I have four spider webs. I got them from the bug off. I've been time traveling. So, I think it's pretty cool. I hope you guys have enjoyed my little house tour. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as usual, don't forget to visit us at virtualbastion.com for more gaming goodness. Goodbye, and you're welcome.